Hey everyone, my name is Josephina. Welcome to my channel. If you don't already, please subscribe to my channel. So I'm trying something different today. It's going to be some kind of like journal entry, diary entry, podcast style thing. So I'm going to talk about something personal to me and um, I'm going to do these videos maybe one or two times a month or whenever I feel like it, maybe less, who's, who knows, we'll see. So um, just to talk more personally about myself or my experiences or what I'm thinking or feeling or going through. And so... If you like it, I'll do it regularly. If not, then actually I'll just do whatever I want. It's my channel. I'll do whatever I want. <laughs> Anyways, welcome here. Um, so I'm going to talk about today's topic is going to be my birthday, which is on Sunday in two days. So um, I'll be turning 46, by the way. Okay, so what I want to talk about is growing up. I don't know if this is something that's all for neurodivergent people or people who grew up in trauma. But growing up, like I always kind of thought birthdays is like a big deal. And when I got old enough to take matters into my own hand, I always, always made sure that I celebrated my birthday. And I was very excited about my birthday. And I realized the reason for this is that it's, it was because I can finally, like, unapologetically, like, take up space and be like, this is about me. This day is about me. And I can celebrate me and not feel shame about it. And a huge, well, I think the reason for that is because I didn't take up space growing up, you know growing up as a people pleaser in like an environment that I the kind of environment that I grew up in um there was no room to take in space <laughs> you were not allowed to shamed punished whatever and then at school I was very quiet and shy I had selective mutism and um when I did get attention like oftentimes it'd be like the teacher calling on me because I was like really smart and she always knew that I the teachers always knew I had the answers and then I would just get teased by the other students that I'm like the brainer or the teacher's pet and all these things so you know it wasn't like ever that I was the one who got attention I was never made to feel special and people are like oh well you shouldn't have to be made to feel special no I disagree I think you should make children feel special I didn't say entitled, but you should make children feel like they're special because they are special and every one of us is special and they should be made to feel that way. Except I was never made to feel that way. And a lot of people are not made to feel that way. And people like that grow up to feel a lot of shame for taking up space and things like that. So my birthday felt like the only day that I was allowed to make it about me. And so I did. I did. I made sure I was always excited about my birthday. And I, um, a lot of people would be like, oh, you know, I hate my birthday or whatever. Not me. I love my birthday because I finally felt like I can take up space and not feel bad about it. And um, I didn't have to feel guilty or shame about it. And so I did. I did that. But fast forward to now. And last my last year was like a weird year because I kind of went through this place where I was like in a really sad, sad place. And it's very, very dark <laughs> for me. And so I did not feel excited about my birthday last year at all. Um, but I'm in a very different headspace this year. And even though I'm struggling and stuff with my burnout and various other things and huge transitions that are happening in my life right now, I still feel very grateful for where I am. You know, I'm with someone now who's absolutely, absolutely fantastic, which will probably be one of my diary entries soon. Um, and he's planning something for this whole weekend for me. And I realized like that I don't feel excited. I feel excited about being with him, but I don't feel excited so much about my birthday. And part of the reason for that is because he makes me feel special all the time. And I said this to him, like, I don't have to wait to feel special on my birthday because he makes me feel special all the time. And I have friends like this, like one of my friends, um, she's fantastic. Like one of my best friends took me to see Taylor Swift candlelight um, concert thing last week, just to have friends who really go out of the way to, by the way, if you don't know, I'm a huge Swifty. <laughs> sorry if that turns you off, but I love, I'm not sorry, actually, I, I love Taylor Swift. Um, and you know, just having friends that really care about you and wanting to do something that'll make you happy and participating in that for you it just means like a lot it hits different because I didn't have that experience in the past with like my friendships and my partners like when my boyfriend was asking me what we're gonna do like what I want to do for the weekend I said I don't have I don't really care I have no expectations my the bar is set very low for you let me tell you in my last long-term relationship oftentimes my birthdays ended up in tears fighting I was ignored for the last birthday and just like various other kind of things like that that were not very delightful let's just say and so already just like going out of his way to plan this and you know everything that he's doing and he's excited about it I'm excited to be spending time with him um 
it's just nice. And so <sighs> birthdays now feel like something different for me. It doesn't feel like the one time of the year where I get to be special because I can be special any time of the year. And this isn't because I have a boyfriend now. This is something that I've worked on for myself, like where I don't need anyone's permission to feel special any day of the year and to take up space. And I don't have to compete with people. I don't need to concede for other people. We all can take up space. There's no competition. Doesn't uh, Your light doesn't dim someone else's light. So please, if you're watching this, I want you to shine bright. <laughs> My birthday wish is for you to take on space and shine bright. So that is essentially the message of this is that it's just interesting how things have, have changed and how differently I feel about my birthday. I mean, it's still my birthday and exciting time, but I just have a very different like view now because now I feel like I am special all the time, all year I'm special and I don't need, it's not just one day that makes me feel special and it's not one day that I'm allowed to feel special. So I'll, spe I'll still celebrate probably the whole month of September and all those wonderful things but I just find it interesting how my view has completely changed about my birthday in a very positive light and I'm grateful for where I am the things that I've gone through to bring me to where I am now I'm grateful for the connections I have I'm grateful for all these people who have been commenting lovely comments and sharing their experiences with me in my comment my um, all my videos about their own experience. Um, so thank you for doing that. If, um, you know, if I always try to respond, I'm pretty sure I mostly do, but uh, if I don't respond in a timely manner, it's because I'm just really busy, but that's all. That's my first diary entry video. I hope you're having an awesome day. I hope you enjoy everything. And if you're someone who doesn't like your birthday, find a way to celebrate yourself because you're important and you're special and you deserve to feel special, not just on your birthday, every day. You deserve to be special and take up space. So thanks for hanging out with me. This is a short video. But thanks for hanging out with me. I gotta go. Uh, it's late and I'm gonna get stuff ready because we're leaving early tomorrow morning. And um, maybe I'll make another video entry about our weekend and what we're doing. Take care of yourselves. Happy birthday to me. I'm a Virgo, obviously. Virgo sun rising in Mercury. <laughs> and um, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.